Good morning, it's day five, and today we are leaving Prince Edward Island. Boo! But we are off to the Fundy National Park. Yay! We're going to stop off for some breakfast at the Landsmark Cafe, I think it's called. And then we'll probably wander around Victoria for a bit and leave the island. Change plan, the Landmark Cafe is closed because it's a Sunday, so we didn't really take that into account. So we're going to, can I see it from here? No. Um, island Chocolates, which is a chocolate cafe for breakfast. Oh yeah. Mm, healthy. Look at the view though. Battery life on that is going to be ruined. Pretty. That's very lovely. Plan yet again. You've come here. Look at this view. Breakfast, guys. I got mushroom, cheese, and shallots in my omelette. Lawrence has got English brekkie, got a slice of watermelon, coffee, obviously. All right. Tuck in then, tuck in then. So I didn't think I was hungry and then I ate a massive omelette and the three pieces of toast <laughs> and a coffee. It was good, I'd recommend going there. Now what are we doing? We're going to have a little wonder. We just don't want to leave. I've got the cute little lighthouse. Really nice day today. It's hotter than yesterday. It's about 24. It's only about half 11 right now. Hi guys, I thought I'd use this time on our way to Fundy National Park to review the Clark Sunny Isle Motel that we just stayed at at Prince Edward Island. So bye bye. Hi. I got a leaving present from a mosquito. I think the motel was really really good it was the cheapest one out of all our hotels accommodation etc for this trip so it was definitely best value for money you get Wi-Fi got a TV and bathroom was huge bedroom was really big and everyone was really friendly and gave us lots of tips and hints good local knowledge so overall really enjoyed our stay there so I would give it out of 10 because maybe not 10 out of 10 just based on location it's not it's about 45 50 minute drive to Charlottetown which is the main or it's, it's the capital I think um, which is the main town and Summerside is fairly small so you'd have to drive but you'd have a car anyway if you went to me you know, so it wasn't too much of an issue so yeah definitely would recommend Entering the Hopewell Rocks area. Looks very green. Green. So these rocks are apparently very bizarre formations. Some look like mushrooms, some look like ice cream cones, and I think it's the biggest attraction in New Brunswick. Hopefully the tide will be low so we can see them, but I haven't checked it because I don't know how. But it just going on the trail to see the Hopewell Rocks. <laughs> you laughing at me.
asking him how deep it goes, and it's, it's filled up about a metre so far. But when it's at its lowest point, you can walk 100 metres beyond the rock. And when it's at its highest point, the entire arch is submerged. But at this time of year, the arch will only get to about halfway submerged through tidal. That is good. We're going to go now before the tide comes in and we drown. We just arrived at the Cliffside Suite, which is where we're staying, which is in Alma. We're just driving to our room. Look at the We can have a barbie. Oh my god, I think we struck gold here. Let's have a look inside. Oh my god, this is our room. <gasps> can we stay here forever, please? <laughs> So it's self catering, so we've got our own little kitchen area. Not to subject for you. The bathroom. Oh my god, this is humongous. My excited noise. I don't think I'm leaving here, sorry. So I'm sitting on the bed and this is the view directly in front of me. Oh my goodness. So just before dinner, we're gonna go on this little trail. I think it's fairly short. Oh, that was a close up. Um, that was Lawrence's car beep, we're just closing it. Ruining the peacefulness, obviously. Hopefully we'll see some wildlife. We're making spag ball. Yum, yum, yum. It's gonna last us for the next two nights. And then we're gonna eat it over there. I'm going to end this vlog here today because we're just going to have dinner and then chill out. So I will see you guys tomorrow for day six. Bye.